relatively cool damp conditions all of my mints grow together because they're invasive they're all in containers otherwise I would just have an allotment full of mint mm. and nothing else um, and because they make an ecosystem keeping them all together keeps it that much cooler that much damper over there than anywhere else they support each other so I'm watering can with a great big hole in the bottom and it is an obvious candidate for container planting now, you can't get an awful lot in a watering can, but you can get something like a fern, something that doesn't grow really fast. What it will eventually become um, when the bolotti beans are over is it will be a home for thornless blackberry, which will then be properly trained at the back so that I can pick the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. So, container gardening is pretty well unlimited. This is an old recycling box that we're growing spuds in. At some point the bottom got smashed out of it, so you can't use it for recycling anymore, um, but it's perfect for growing. They work very well for potatoes, mm. but you can use a sack, um, you can use big, we've got um, stuff growing in our greenhouse in big um, supermarket bags, you know, the bags for life. As soon as they get a bit tatty, I just buy a new bag and use the old one to grow plants in. Do you, you must obviously have holes in the bottom. You have to make holes in the bottom, and we'll come on to drainage in a minute. Wonderful. Um. They have very good drainage because these are just wicker baskets. Um, and in the bottom of each one is just a bit of old bin bag. So there's lots of air circulation, which they love. <coughs> Another old watering can with no bottom in it, so as to speak. And this is my house leeks. They are planted in the lid of an old dustbin. Oh my gosh. And underneath that is an old um, barrel ring mm -hmm. for holding a wooden barrel together, which we've just painted oh, yeah. pink. So containers... Sorry, really? did you say that the baskets have got plastic bags inside? Yeah, they've got bits of bin liner with lots of holes made in them. Otherwise, the soil just all falls out when you water. Thank you. The plants probably don't need it because they really do love the sun and they do love a lot of drainage. This is a way of using what you're stuck with in terms of a container. You can buy these aluminium rings. They come in a, a little tiny box, literally about that big. You get it through the post. Oh, really? And they, they clip together at one point and you get three concentric rings. So there's one there of our deceased trees. Oh. So, what we did was we cut it down till it was about two foot tall. <laughs> then we put our incinerator barrel over the top of it and we lit bonfires in it for three months. <laughs> that is a very dead elder tree. <laughs> and I will show you what it takes to kill an elder tree in a minute. Um, he has not been allowed to read the book. No. There's a very good reason for that because... Um, I'm still married, yeah. Yes, that's good. <laughs> 26 years. Um, but no, the reason is because Tony knows all of the characters in the book by their real Bits names. Bit of a so, if <laughs> so that's just something that a shop was throwing out. And it has a variety of outfits. Basically, for a scarecrow to work, you have to change the clothes about every 14 to 20 minutes. Because the birds get used to it really quickly. So you can keep oh, changing true. clothing, oh. particularly changing the gender, and um, it confuses the birds. They're never it's right. Tony built them. This is decking that somebody was ripping up out of their garden. Oh, yeah. And we went round with the van and picked it all up. So Tony has made it into beds, and we moved these from our old allotment, which was the one that we managed, and which was the one that the book was largely written about, which was Plot 201, and you can go and see it. Mm -hmm. um, he made these for Plot 201, but when we moved down here, we just lifted them up, put them down. Why do you bother with, with, uh, with them? Why don't you just put and them that, in the ground? This is mm. What we can do with a bed 
that we can't do in the open ground is we can change the soil conditions. Mm. So these two beds are, at the moment are growing sweet corn. Mm. They have a really rich soil. Underneath the straw, mm. there is a layer of newspaper that traps moisture. Mm. Now, if you compare that soil to the soil under here, you will find that this is massively damper. It's had exactly the same amount of water. And they have to have moisture. They love that you water the bottles, you don't water the soil. Mm. So the weeds don't actually get, unless it rains, they don't get direct water. And one of the triggers for seed germination is direct water. Mm. So if the water goes down to the roots, the seeds just don't get a chance to germinate, so you have to do much less weeding. That's um, an agastarch, which is just a little flower, and there's a lavender lurking over there, so that we're not wasting any of the bed. Mm. This one's got a bit of borage. In there is another leak, which will be fine. You know, we won't be taking that leak out until February and this plant will be long gone by then. So it can just about cope. Um, in there is a primrose. Mm -hmm. That'll look lovely in February. Mm -hmm. And there were beetroot in that corner, um, but I think we've trod on them. So we won't talk about that corner. <laughs> we can't get everything right. Um, but these are mulched with any old rubbish that we have lying around. And the easiest way to mulch something like this is when you get these tatty old leaves over the edge, you just cut them off and lay them under the plant. Again, it stops the weeds, it provides nutrients, and it's just like mini composting, instead of having huge, great big bins. Yeah, you can just do that. Pile over there. Um, and I don't know what we're going to get off that. So that, you know, everybody can other people's compost bin so and that was started a year ago the middle bin is our summer bin from this year it's pretty well full of you know stuff we're taking off the plot at the moment